Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Kay. This is my first video of this year, so I'm kind of excited. Um, hopefully, this will be the continuation of um, more videos to come and a great year of um, flooded videos on your timeline. <laughs> nah, um, um, this video basically is just like a Q&A, a New Year's Q&A. Um, basically questions from questions about the previous year um and how i tend to um make 2019 a better year from the past year so um let's jump into these questions so the first question is what did you learn about yourself from this past year i learned that i'm a huge procrastinator like the worst I procrastinate with everything. I procrastinate on time. I procrastinate on things that I say that I'm going to do. Um, and I guess you guys can kind of tell that because the consistency of my videos is really not consistent. Um, and I know that that's something that I really need to work on. Um, that is like a really bad habit. Procrastination is a really bad habit. And that's just something that I really just have the worst. I just have the worst time. Like, I don't know why I procrastinate so much. Like, it's just, it's terrible. But this year, I want to try to work on that. Procrastinating is not an option. Um, I really want to make some things happen this year. For me, for my baby, for my channel. Like, you know, I just want to be able to be better when it comes to procrastination. Procrastination is a tactic. Okay, the next question is, which relationship meant the most to you this past year and why? A relationship or relationships that meant the most to me this year would have to be my family. Um, especially my mom, me and my mom's relationship. Um, me and my mom don't have a terrible relationship. We've never had a terrible relationship. Excuse me, it's just that, um, you know, you growing up, you have mother-daughter rivalry, so... Um, when she used to, when we used to live together, because now I live in my own house and she lives in her own house, um, we argued a lot and we didn't see eye to eye with certain things. And of course, me being young and growing up, I think I'm grown. So, you know, there was a lot of tension and things like that. But now, like, I talk to her every day. I feel like if I don't talk to her, I'm like, where are you? What are you doing? Like, I call her, like, every five minutes. And I know she'd be annoyed as hell because she's like, guess, niche. What you want, niche? Like, I'd be bothering her. But she know she love that attention. Okay. Um, another relationship that, um, that um, meant the most to me would have to be the relationship with my boyfriend. Um, our relationship is just like so important to me. Um, we have such a great foundation with each other. Um, we are really like best friends. We talk about everything with each other. Um, our bond is just so, it's just so remarkable. Um, and I pray every day that it stays that way, that we continue to grow with each other and continue to learn, um, things with each other and how to overcome certain obstacles with each other like we've been doing um especially since we have our new be new beginning baking um but he's been really supportive of everything that I do um supportive of this pregnancy just he's just been an amazing guy and I just can't thank him enough for that so yeah those are the relationships that um mean the most to me oh and back to family like um i know i said my mom but not just my mom her sisters my grandma like family to me th that relation those relationships are really important because they know you the best no matter what you go through no matter what's going on in your life family is just always going to be there for you unconditionally no matter what um so those are um the relationships that mean the most to me um, what was one of the biggest challenges you faced this past year and how did you handle it? The biggest challenge I had to face this year was being pregnant. Um, 
that was a challenge for me because first of all in the beginning I was really sick and I didn't know why I was sick and I had been sick for some time so um after getting a pregnancy test and finding out I was sick it was I mean why I was sick it was because I was pregnant um that kind of like took a toll and changed everything I was shocked I didn't know how to feel in the beginning then um you know I ended up embracing the whole pregnancy thing I mean I love my baby already and he's not even here yet I'm obsessed with him um it was a challenge for me because everything had to stop I could like I couldn't do anything can't drink can't do nothing like can't really go out or anything like that so I mean I continued to travel a little bit as much as I could before I got to a certain you know month but it was it was it was a it was a challenge <laughs> stopping everything that I was so used to doing um but it was an easy it was an easy get over like it was just it was like I adapted to it so easily I didn't even realize and look look at me now I'm 34 weeks 34 weeks and I'm almost there if I feel like the time went by so fast like it was this it was an amazing challenge and I feel like I handled it very well um I mean especially since I had such a great support system my boyfriend my family like I really had like the best pregnancy journey ever like I was sick in the beginning but after my fifth month I was able to you know um you know still carry on with life like normal so just the simple fact that I had a tummy um so yeah what did you do f for fun this past year what was one of your favorite memories um in February I went to New Orleans um for Mardi Gras I had so much fun I went with a group of friends um and then in April I went to Atlanta with my boyfriend for his birthday I think we were there for almost like a week or so um then in September I was pregnant I mean I am pregnant I mean I mean I was pregnant then I went to the Bahamas um, my favorite memory would have to be um going to the Bahamas no my favorite memory was going to Atlanta with my boyfriend. We had so much fun. We ate like pigs. Um, we partied. We drank. We just, we enjoyed each other's company, each other's time in a different state. And it, that was just fun. It was fun. It was fun. Like, we went out to eat to the Sundial restaurant for his birthday. And he enjoyed that. It was really special, really romantic, um, very intimate. So, and we got to overlook the whole Atlanta um during dinner it was just awesome so that was like one of my favorite memories um of this year um if you could change one thing from this past year what would you change and why honestly i wouldn't change anything about this past year because everything this past year of 2018 for me meant growth so i pretty much any experience that i did encounter was like a growing um experience for me a learning experience for me and I just wouldn't change that for the world I mean that's what makes you a better person being able to go through things and grow through things and learn from what you what you've um went through whatever the situation may have been um growing from that learning from that and just soaring from that it just is is amazing so I wouldn't change anything about 2018. 2018 was all about learning, getting to know me, getting to know um, the real meaning of life. So, yeah. If you were to brag about one of your accomplishments from this past year, which one would it be and why? Um, I would brag about my makeup certification because I was able to um, become a certified makeup artist, which I have not really fully... Um, done anything with yet but i plan on doing that so um that would have been one of my my greatest accomplishments i would brag about this was a, an amazing moment for me because i love makeup everything about makeup 
if there's a topic about makeup, I will talk about it for hours, days, weeks. I don't care. That's just, I just love makeup. Makeup is life. <laughs> um, given all your experiences, insights, and lessons learned from last year, what's the best advice you can give yourself um, for next year? So the best advice that I would give myself is to remain consistent, be fearless, and just have fun. Not care about what anybody else has to say or think about you. Um, being consistent in a way of like just whatever I say I'm going to do, just be consistent with it and do it. Not so much talk about it because I feel like I've been lacking so much with my channel and like my makeup and things like that that I say I want to do that I don't do. And I just feel like I need to be, I need to stop the procrastination and more consistency. <laughs> Um, and stop being so fearful. Like, I'm, I don't know why I have like this fear of like failing or something, or, um, especially like when it comes to my YouTube channel, not having all the proper resources or the tools to make my channel the way that I want my channel to be. I mean, which I am working on and I'm still learning how this whole thing works, but still, like, there's a fear there of like, Oh my God, people are going to talk about my channel. It's low budget. It's this, it's that. It's blah, 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 you know? But I mean, I'm getting over that hump. I feel like I do need to start promoting my channel more, which I don't never promote my channels. And I need some subscribers because, listen, I'm only at 13 subscribers. And listen, I'm not boring, boo-boo. <laughs> I need y'all to subscribe to my shit, okay? Let me stop. I understand though, once I start bringing more content, I'm sure that I will um, be where I need to be. But right now, like I just gotta work on overcoming that hump of being scared to just say fuck it and just, who cares, just do it. That's my issue. And then of course, have fun with it. Have fun with life, stop being so serious. Like everything is just not to be taken so seriously. I mean, you only live once, so why not make the best of it? So those are my, um, that's my advice for the new year. Um, so yeah, those were my New Year's Q&A questions. Um, I am going to have another video coming out because I have not put out a video in a while and I apologize. I did have a holiday makeup video that I did post up, but YouTube took it down because it, they said it was copyright. I guess because I was playing music in the background and doing my makeup and I wasn't saying anything and they kind of caught the different songs that I was playing in the background and they deleted my video. And I was pissed because I posted it twice and it got deleted twice and I worked so hard to edit that video and get y'all a holiday look that it just went to shit because YouTube deleted it. So, stay tuned for another makeup look. I'm not sure what look I'm going to do, but you guys know how that goes. I just go with the wind. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Whatever you need to do to know that I'm posting, um, do that. Um, and you guys will start to see more of me, more of my face. Um more of this personality, more of this life, this fabulous life. Um, uh, yeah, oh, and one more thing, you guys like my wig? This is a new thing for me. I'm gonna start wearing wigs this year. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, I just fell in love with wearing wigs now. Like, I don't know, I have two now. I have this one and I have a long one. This one I call her China, cause she's short and she's like blunt cut, like, you know? But yeah. So I'm going to start wearing wigs because I'm a natural hair girl and then I'm about to have a baby. Like just having a wig on deck is just going to be the easiest thing for me right now. So you guys will see more of this wig life. Oh, um, so yeah, in the comments, leave your New Year's resolutions or goals that you have for this year. Um, tell me what you think that... Um, what advice you have for yourself for the new year. What advice you have for me for this new year. Um, yeah.
just let's let's talk. Let's have a discussion in the comments about about um our New Year's goals. Let's get this together. Let's let's um connect. Let's do this. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time in the next video.